How's it going guys? In this video I'm going to be discussing how I successfully do coolant flushes and the products and items that I use to carry out these flushes in our workshop here. Okay, when we're doing coolant flush we want to make sure that we can get uh, everything running through good and that the top and bottom as it circulates around is nice and clear uh, when we're finished and that there's no sludge or build up of any crap coming through uh, when being pumped out. So what I do is um, I take off the top hose and I'll flush through the radiator um, independently so I'll take off the top and bottom hose and I'll just flush through that. Uh, I also go depending on where yours is but I let me see if I can get a view so of I'll it. So I'll go down to the heater core down here and I'll take both them pipes off as well uh, and I'll flush in and make sure that it's nice and clear coming through there. Now I'm just this isn't going to be this isn't going to be a step-by-step -step process by any mean, but it will give you a very good indication as to the levels we go to to try and get a successful uh, flush every time. But this here is air pressure uh, unit. So it, the diff different fitments at the top is for the different size hoses. You put in compressed air on that side and then you connect it up to the water hose here and you can regulate the actual flow. Uh, you can also regulate the air pressure that you're using. This is a very, very useful item for blowing out stubborn crap. And this is a SP tools item that I bought and I have done maybe two or three coolant flushes since I used it. And it's been very, very successful. The product that I use is whole speed flush. I'm not affiliated with any of these products whatsoever. I'm just giving you the information that I use here in the workshop. Some of the instructions. So as you can see for the directions there, you drain the radiator, flush in half, refill, pour in the contents of the bottle, top up to normal level, leave speed, speed flush in the cooling system until 20 or 30 minutes have been logged, run the engine for a fast idle for 10 minutes, drain radiator when cold, flush and refill. Uh, so this is what I use as well. I will do a flush with just the water first of all. And then I'm going to use this afterwards to really help clean the system. So I'm going to get into it now. I've just removed the top and bottom holes now and I'm going to go ahead and start flushing this through. So the first thing I do is I'm just actually putting the hose, the garden hose, the water hose into the top of the radiator. And there's no extra pressure or air pressure on this at the minute. It's just seeing what comes out on the other side. And I'll just basically keep this process going for another couple of minutes and then I will hook it up for a bit of pressure flushing. So this is it hooked up. I have it hooked up to the compressor. I have it hooked up to the water hose. And then you just turn this. You pick the pressure of water coming out and then when you press the trigger you get pressurized water and then you can increase the water flow which is increases the amount that's coming out but this is an extremely effective way of flushing through the coolant system so i'm going to be doing that now so for this process i put that in as far as it can you can clamp that on to that hose if you like air pressure and water pressure so we first run a bit of air through it turn it on a little bit and then now there's water circulating so we'll turn it on a bit more and 
now we have water coming out the other side. This pressurizes it completely and helps it to flush through. We can knock it off there. And this process is repeated until you're happy with what's coming out of the bottom radiator. We then just repeat this process for the heater core or the heater control valve and we make sure that that's circulating fine and then we flush the system through completely after that and then this particular stage of this is done but I'm gonna go and do the heater core now and then I'll check back in with you. You can see that and there it is I just wanted to give you a visual of some of the crud that is coming out of the system through the radiator and that's the stuff that's going to block your radiator and block the circulation and cause it to overheat so we're successfully getting this stuff out it's just about continued um, use of this procedure so just keep keep repeating the process until you're happy with the uh, clearness and the water coming through I'm just flushing it through from the thermostat side now and I'll just give you a look at this don't know if you can see that but that is all extremely dirty that's coming out there it's filthy um, it's starting to clear up now but it's very very brown and thick coming out from the thermostat side back <laughs> I'm gonna get water all over my camera, but now you can really see the stuff coming through there. Nice. So what I'm doing is I'm in the bottom hose here and with the uh, heater core re reconnected up, uh, I'm just flushing through the system again, as you can see, look at that. And then every now and again, I give it a pressure shot like that and uh, soak myself in the process, but get all the crud out of it. So I'm going to keep doing that until this is completely clear. All right, I'm beginning to wrap this up anyways until I get the uh, speed flush put into it. So I have everything connected back together again. I have to half fill the system and put some speed flush in, just like the directions I showed you earlier on. Uh, it's about to start absolutely lashing rain here and I'm outside so I'm gonna speed through this process and I will check back in with you in a little while and tell you how it's going and how the uh, vehicle is running since putting in this particular product it's now got up to operating temperature the fan has just come on for the first time so I'm just gonna leave it running for a little while longer and then it will be a process of uh, repeating what I done earlier on which is draining the system flushing it through and then it's ready to uh, then it's ready to rock and roll this job will be all complete uh, once I'm happy with the next flush and everything that comes out of it is nice and clear and I'm happy with the system operation I'll be able to put in coolant again and the job will be complete.